Okay, okay. So this is take two of the self-care for mom entrepreneurs. Um, my name is Mariana. I'm a business coach and I help moms um, free them from the nine to five by um, develop a marketing strategy that attracts clients and helps beat the tech overwhelm like this. <laughs> this is our second take because we got completely shut down by Blab um, last time. I don't think we were being inappropriate. I don't know what happened. So anyways, um, Lisa was talking about um, three strategies that help um, moms to take care of themselves. Um, and so the first one was, um, I think we talked about delegating. I'm yeah. um, just, could you recap yeah, sure. them all? And the first one is sure. making the decision the that you want to make changes, changes that you want more for your life. Um, the second one was learning to say no a little bit more and being okay with it. And the third one is to ask for help and accept help when it's offered. Um, so those are just some, like, I think the three main ways that have helped me um, make some big changes in my life. Because when you can get those three things down, or at least some of the time, because I'm still not perfect at it, um, I think that you can uh, open your mind up to doing other things more for yourself. So now, like, I'm okay telling my kids, sorry, mommy's going to take a break and go hide by myself somewhere or go hang out with my girlfriends or have a date night or just do something for myself. And I'm okay with that. Where before it was like, oh, my kids are sad. I'm not leaving them. But it's actually good for them, too, because then they see, oh, look, mom's taking care of herself. So that's important. And they're going to do what you do, not what you say. So when you can take care of yourself, you're also teaching your kids a lot more than you think. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think we could tell them like, hey, you know, you want to put yourself first and all that, but then without actually being the leader and example, it's going to be yeah, really exactly. hard. And it's a fine line because you know, our kids, they are important, of course. We do have to take care of them. I, I don't neglect my kids. I don't, you know, make them uh, fend for themselves or anything like that. So it is a fine line. And it's sometimes, you know, that you stray away from the line and you kind of get yourself into that place of doing too much again. But the thing is, once you have made that decision, I think you become aware of it a lot faster. So then you can switch right back to get, you know, focus back on what your goals are, what you want to accomplish, what you need to do. And uh, so I think that's why why it can work, because there are days where you're crazed and there's so much going on and you have to handle it because you are the mom. But when your overall life is um, just set up a little bit differently, then you can always get yourself back on track and you know what you need. You don't just keep going that tired and exhausted mom like, you know, today's crazy, but tomorrow I'm taking a nap <laughs> or whatever it is for you. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, like, as entrepreneurs, that is, like, such a blessing that we have is just, like, we're our own boss. So unless we're, like, super, super hard on ourselves, we can totally give ourselves some space and a time off um, and put all the business aside and just take care of our kids, especially, like, when they're sick and stuff. Like, both of my kids had RSV this year, and, like, it was just so tough, like, with two kids under two, they were so sick. And I was like, just about to launch my group coaching program. And I was like, I can't and I had to end up moving the deadline. And, you know, I had to, you know, I felt like I was letting my team down, my coach and my assistant were expecting me to do it. But I, I said, I, I can't, I physically can't get anything done. And um, so everything else went to the side and my kids were my priority for yeah. like three days. How awesome that you get that opportunity. And it was, yeah, exactly. And, and not having to worry about like FMLA, PTO, all that crap. No, exactly. <laughs> that's the blessing. And yeah. then sometimes it's, um, if you can't make those decisions, you get stuck. So it can, it can be hard. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. And I think it's so key what you're saying. Like you have to allow yourself yes. that flexibility because I mean, and I, I work mostly with mom entrepreneurs, but like you're, you have to step up and say, 
like yeah. create your boundary. Like this is what I will and will not tolerate. And, and I, you know, I need to give myself that space. Otherwise you're just going to burn out. And it doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur or if you're a mom that works yeah. full time. Um, are you there? I think it's, Are you there? No, oh, no. I think we lost her. Oh, thanks for the hearts or props. So, are you there? Hi. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Are you there? Are you there? You. Lisa, you can't see me? Oh no. Um, let me see. Hello? Now, now can you see me? Okay. I had to like get off and get back on so that you could see me, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I you could do um, the whole time. <laughs> you should have kept talking. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, um, and then what, um, tell me a little bit more about like the work that you do with, with moms. So I help moms. Um, basically I kind of start at the end of where they would like to be, what they would, if they could have their dream day, what it would look like. Um, and then we kind of start from where they are now and look at their life, see where they want more happiness and, what they can change. I help them figure out how to set boundaries, how to um, how to really create their own happiness and um, and be confident in that. And also just to create space in their life for for nothing really, like not to fill their life up with so much. Um, and then just show them by, that by doing those things, you really can enjoy life a lot more. And um, you know, I, I say like I'm an empowerment coach, I, I and I am, but I really like to think of it as like I kind of become your best girlfriend for a little bit and nicely kick your butt into uh, <laughs> seeing what life can be like and how you don't have to just work so hard and you can enjoy being a mom because they're only little for so long. We only get that um, that busyness for so long, and if you just keep overwhelming yourself and being stressed, you're going to look back and say, Hey, you know, I didn't really enjoy it because I was so busy. And yeah. I really want moms to just, I really want moms to just be really happy and love life. I mean, I, I always tease myself because I think I sound so cheesy, but I really, <laughs> really believe that we can just be completely happy and um, loving every part of our life. If we, if we really try to make these changes. So, yeah, and really allowing ourselves the space to do that. Could you tell me a little bit about your story? I know it's pretty interesting and in how you got here. Sure. Um, well, I about four years ago, I had two young daughters at the time. Um, I think they were like four and six-ish maybe. And I started to get rheumatoid arthritis pains uh, throughout my body. And then it just kind of started slow, but it really hit me hard later um, in 2012, um, where I could barely move. I could barely uh, do anything for myself. I mean, showering became hard. Getting dressed became hard. Everything just hurt. And I, I still kept doing everything. I still kept being that super mom that wouldn't uh, get help. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop. I still did so much. And, um, I finally had to realize like, okay, enough is enough. Take care of me because then I can't be there for my kids. 
I'm not teaching them anything by pushing myself so hard that I'm, you know, crying because I'm in pain or whatever it is. And um, through it all, as hard as it was, as much as it hurt, I, I still like was so positive and still happy. I still loved my life and I really did. But I started noticing other people thinking like, hey, like you stay so positive through this and I don't know if I could do what you do and still be happy and smile. And so then I kind of started seeing, like, well, maybe I do handle things differently. I do see things a lot differently than most people do. And I knew that I was going to fight it. I knew I was going to get better, but I wasn't going to let it stop me from living my life and enjoying it. I just had to make some changes. And so that's physically, I, I was forced to say no to work, no to my kids, no to family, no to a lot of things that I like doing, like cute high heels and dancing. <laughs> but I've learned that by slowing my life down, I have so much more to enjoy. I have space in my life to appreciate things and um, just see how beautiful life is around me. And, um, and so my heart just was full of this purpose and this passion to help other moms because I see it all the time. I see other moms just trying to keep up with what everyone else is doing. And it's uh -oh. I really don't, I just, I, my heart really goes out to moms especially. And that's why I want to work with them, especially with younger kids. I think it can take up so much of our energy and um, and it does, but I, I think there's just a way to kind of balance it. I don't know that I really believe in balance, but I do believe in um, just finding that line, like I said, I talked about finding that line and just kind of staying as close to it as you can and living the life that you really do love. Yeah. I don't want you to be forced into it because that's, it's not fun. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. And um, so tell me a little bit more like about how people can reach you, like how they can contact you and how they can work with you. OK, so um, I'm on mostly on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I think. Is this this lab to the fa uh, the Facebook group? Um, oh, I, I didn't put the link on this new one, but I can put the link here. Um, okay. this, this is all part of, she's the guest expert in our Facebook group called um, the Super Moms Mom Entrepreneur Support Group. And um, I'm going to put the link here. Okay, great. And then on Instagram, I'm at Lisa underscore Benavides. Um, and you can also just, I'm sorry. Could you type it in the chat bar? Oh, sure. Maybe. <laughs> this side. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and yeah, I think that, that your mission is like, so, so good. It's really important for moms. And I, I see it too, like, like I'm talking about, I call my group of my tribe super moms because um, they're mom entrepreneurs and they're either working um, full time and building a business or they're just building a business and have kids at home all the time. And I think that, you know, I say it plainly and jokingly because it really is like a super difficult thing to do is to do everything. And, um, and we need support and we need to help each other and, you know, really be each other's advocates. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So, and then of course I have my little one here. She's, <laughs> Mama, she's so cute. Yeah. She's with me all the time. She was the preemie that yeah. uh, saved my life and made me the entrepreneur I am today. <laughs> So awesome. So, and then I'll put my info down here as well. Um, I am on, I'm not on Instagram. I don't get it, but I did have a guest blogger this week convince me that I need to be on Instagram. <laughs> I kind of feel like there's so much and you always think you want to, 
be a part of everything. Like you have to do Instagram and Periscope and Twitter and, and, but if you're not going to do it, then I mean, just, I don't think it's necessary until I actually just use my personal one and then just kind of incorporate it. Cause my, um, my Instagram is all about me and my mom life. And I think that's how I want to connect with women online and as by being real and open. And that's what my Instagram is all about. So, um, but I'm also on Facebook. I have a Twitter. And um, right now I just am doing one-on-one coaching. But I am planning to open up some group courses this week, or I'm sorry, this year. And um, I hope that that will be beneficial to some of you listeners. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, so have an awesome day, everybody. And yeah. we'll talk to you in the group, okay? Thanks, Mariana. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.